So I was just browsing my YouTube recommended section and I found this video by Danny, created in February 2019. And whoa, is that 3.2 million views? All right, I need to get doing this now. On my last video, I only got four views. Right, okay, I need to do this and I need to do it now. So that cringy intro basically sums up what we're gonna be doing in today's video, doesn't it? All right, best get started then. So to start, I guess we would start off by saying how I became uh, a Unity developer and how I started developing uh, games on Unity. So I guess we go back all the way to when I started off in Roblox. So I was a Roblox developer, I created games in Roblox, and I kind of got bored of that, so I started off uh, doing Unity games because it was more advanced and it was more uh, complex. So this is basically the first project that I ever created. And as you can see, the first day that I started off Unity, I learned about uh, left and right movement, all following a tutorial, and I also managed to do jumping. But there was only one problem with this, is that you can now infinite jump, which is kind of funny. But I mean, it's not that practical. But I did figure this out and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So I just took it in uh, into my advantage. So the next game I created was a jumping game, it was like a Flappy Birds kind of style game. And this game was as scuffed as ever. I mean, just look at how neat it is. I mean, everything is filled out. I can find everything, but, <laughs> but seriously. Uh, it was actually a very good thing that I did, uh, I, well, I mean, I did the score counter, and that was something I'd never done before, I mean, I'd never done pr practically anything before, but it was just very cool, and looked very cool from what I started off, and I managed to upload it to the Unity web thing, don't know what it's called, but I managed to upload it online, basically, and then I managed, uh, well, I, I remember, um, I had people at, sc at my school playing it, uh, in lesson times, don't tell the teachers that, but still, they were all playing it, and it was kind of cool, because I kind of got people addicted, because it's kind of an addicting game, but as you can tell, I am pretty trash at it, because I am a epic gamer that cannot play his game, so, yeah. After that, I just went into a period of just creating small games and then not actually finishing them, like starting them, getting to a certain waypoint, and I just lost complete interest. And that was kind of sad, but I did learn a lot of stuff in that amount of time. So that was pretty cool. But after I did all of that, and after all of the quitting stopped, I started another game. And this game became to be the game that you know now as Square Shooter, and it is uh, the one that I've been recording in my YouTube videos, the one that I've started doing um, recordings and started uploading onto this channel and doing devlogs of um, my progress. And that's only been two, I think, so far, but I have actually got content from like for like six more. Um, because I've worked a whole ton on it, and it's been pretty fun, but yeah, so that has been the, uh, longest part that I've ever worked on a game for, and mainly I started working on a main menu system, and that worked out to be pretty cool, uh, I worked on, um, I worked on an enemy system, I worked on enemies so that would shoot me, I worked on, um, I worked on an actual bullet system, like the player being able to uh, shoot a bullet and also be able to shoot a bullet towards the mouse, health systems, many different systems, but basically that is where I am now, and that is where I am with my uh, game development on Unity. So that was a little bit of a different video um, than usual, usually we'd be uh, working on a game or doing a project, but for now we just did this. So yeah, um, bye. <laughs>